guys and welcome back to my channel file again let's troubleshoot a scenario where user is complaining that uh, uh, he is not able to access internet so uh, this is how the connectivity say for example uh, this is your firewall uh, and you have some internal switches here and the user who's trying to uh, access network it is here and there is a connectivity like this for example now and user stays uh, somewhere here so this is how the connectivity so this is the uh, user pc there is some switch here and this is your checkpoint firewall and this is your internet so user is trying to access internet via this path uh, of course, these things are coming in between, but he is unable to access internet. For example, user is trying to ping uh, Google DNS 8.8.8.8, but he is unable to do that. So let's troubleshoot this scenario. How you can troubleshoot this scenario and uh, how you can, you know, uh, allow the communication for the user. So let's begin. Let me show you the small topology what I have for this scenario. So consider we have the uh, user who is using this Windows server. Uh, we have the firewalls here, uh, the firewall cluster. And from this firewall, the traffic is passing of this user. So we need to do the troubleshooting on this firewall to see why the traffic is not passing from the user. Before that, let me show you uh, what is happening with the user. So I'm just going ahead and log into this Windows Server. And right now I will show you the what is the configuration. So if you see, your user have the IP address 192.168.1.20 and the default gateways of the firewall. And right now, when user try to access or ping uh, Google DNS, is unable to do that. So it's getting a request timeout error. So during such scenarios, what we do generally, <laughs> we uh, check the checkpoint firewall logs, uh, we check the uh, kernel debug logs, uh, we ask the user to reproduce the issue and we simultaneously check the logs and accordingly we provide a solution. So here also uh, we'll be doing the same. So I will ask user, okay, go ahead and you know uh, do continuous ping uh, to the Google DNS and meanwhile I will you know check my firewall logs. So if you come to the checkpoint firewall SMS. There's something called logs and monitor, and if you come to the logs, you have to do this filter. So source is your user IP address and destination where he's trying to go. And when you put into, uh, you will see the latest logs. Uh, what is happening for that user communication? So these logs are for. 192.161.20 that is user IP address and the destination y dot it dot it and he's trying to do something uh, with the uh, uh, ICMP packets right and that communication is getting blocked so let's go ahead and open that packet for now to see what is happening so as you can see, the ICMP request is getting dropped by the gateway, right? 
and this is getting dropped by the cleanup rule. So if you want to confirm that from the other uh, from the logs, you can confirm that. But there's another way to confirm the same. So let me show you from the CLI. Let me clear the screen. Go to the export mode. One sec. What is happening? Okay, let me clear the screen. So there is a command called fwctl z debug drop, and here you can grab uh, whatever the users or the server's IP address, which is not able to access internet, for example. So I'm giving that IP address and I'm pressing enter. So once you do that, as we have performed continuous uh, ping, uh, and it's right now it's all things are dropping. So same we are observing here as well that the source 192.168.1.20 is getting dropped for 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8 .8 .8. And the drop is your rule number two. Reason is rule number two. So rule number two, whichever the rule number two, that the packet is, you know, getting dropped by that. All right. So when you go back to your firewall uh, and to the security policy, okay, you will see what are the rules you have configured. And I can clearly see only one rule I can see where uh, communication is allowed uh, for the uh, any source to the destination set to the gateways. But there is no communication allowed for any specific traffic which need to be go to the outside world. So what I'm going to do, I'll just add uh, one rule below here. And I will say, uh, web traffic okay and here i will specify for example my source uh, would be that uh, specific ip address say uh, let me add that ip address ip 192.168.1.20 192.168.1.20 I'll say OK and destination would be you want to go anywhere in the world and let's just allow any application for now but you can give it any specific port as per your requirement so if you want to go for the ICMP sorry ICMP you can allow ICMP eco request and eco reply. And if you want to do the web browsing, so let's allow port 80 and 8080. Uh, I mean 80 and 243. And say allow this communication. Okay. And just log this traffic. And now publish it. And install the policy. Meanwhile, policy is getting installed. Let's go back here. Uh, Now this is a request timeout. Let's see something changes here once the policy gets installed. Okay, the installation got failed. Maybe the rule is conflicting. Let's see. 
what is the reason that this person is fine? There is a no valid license for the security gateway to give existing license, add a new license. Oh, now something else. Okay, that is fine. Let me quickly de attach the licenses what I have installed. And now let's go back and push the policy again. So the policy is now installed successfully. Let's go ahead and check the traffic. So as you can see, the communication is passing now. And let's go ahead and check the things in the logs. For the same communication, we should see the allow logs now. Let's filter the traffic. And as you can see, the ICMP is allowed. Okay, and the rule two, which is allowing this communication for now. So the rule two is with profit. And if you go to the CLI, let me clear up the screen. And here also, if you read under command, you will not see any drop. So, These drops are there, but if you see, it's a for the uh, port 53, not for the ICMP. So if we allowed here DNS port as well, you won't be able to see that drop. Meanwhile, I just wanted to show you one more thing while the policy is getting installed. If you browse here anything, At least you are browsing, I mean, the communication is allowed. Uh, but if in case you miss this DNS uh, communication port, you will fa face the error like uh, the communication, like DNS communication is not happening from your uh, server. So these are the must port we need to have in place 
for the proper communication right from the uh, Internet Explorer or uh, Chrome and from the port perspective as well. Uh, if you go back to here and now, let me clear the screen and if you rerun the command, you will not see any packet drop now. So we have allowed 53 ICMP, so now there is no packet drop. So this is how you can do the troubleshooting guys uh, for the basic issues. Thanks for watching this video and have a good day.